I've had it since I've been here. Yeah, really. That's what's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. It doesn't mean like that. It's you're gonna battle. Don't even say that. Don't say it. Watch out for the road today. I have an idea. It's blank, but I have an idea. All right. The light doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Light went on a long time ago. All right, this is going to be a couple of demonstrations here because you're going to have two and one here, a twofer. I have a bulb in there that broke. <laughs> Just for your entertainment purposes, we're going to plug this beast in and see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, yeah. You should touch it. It will still no. work. What's going to happen? Do you think? Just guess. The other ones are. The other ones are. This is parallel. Parallel means everybody gets the same voltage. That's what it means. They all get the same voltage. So he's at 120, 120, 120, 120, 120. So that means if you take one out, guess what happens? They all stay working. Now, this thing right here, because it's exposed to air, and that's what happens when you have a bulb exposed to air. I used to do this demonstration every year. So when I plug it in, it's ex it's not. these are not supposed to be exposed to air, that little filament. What should happen, again, it should just glow and then glow. That's what should happen. <laughs> did you guys sign your papers before? Uh, it says if you get hurt. All right. Oh, oh, oh. It's on fire. Oh, mighty light bulb. <laughs> so, if you expose a light bulb to light or to air, what happens? It burns out. The, 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 the gas inside of here, I can tell you there's not any really any oxygen inside there. If there was, what would happen? So when you take a light bulb and you actually break the seal in here, <laughs> you break that seal and air gets in it, it's not going to Have you ever taken a light bulb and shake it and go, oh, it's bad? Yeah. yeah. Well, that means a little filament came undone. Now, there's still, I don't want to stick my tongue in there, because then I would complete the circuit. And it goes, through it Everybody is! It's still, yeah, there's still, see right here, if you take a look at a light bulb, I use a pencil. Now. If you take a look at this thing right here, there's, there's a circuit here and a circuit here. So there is a difference between these two. There is. It's just not complete. See, that thing came undone. If I put them together again, I might be able to light it up. Oh. <laughs> 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 you really don't like being shot, do you? Well, that's right. There's graphite in here. I am stupid. <laughs> the brightest, <laughs> not the 150. <laughs> this is a 90 water. This is a 90 water. This is 55. This is 100. If you take a look at these, actually the 90s look brighter, don't they? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but this one's 100. Yeah. This is like when you get up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Dim down the lights, man. But then you want them on because you want to look how beautiful you look in the morning. <laughs> at least that's what I do. Um, but basically, <laughs> who gets most of the, who uses most of the current, do you suppose? Is it this 100 watt or the 55? Most of the current. Now, we're not we're talking about current. Wait, don't they all use the same? Do nope. All nope. They're all made differently. It's going to be the 100 watt. When you connect it, when you give it 120 volts, 100 watts, 120 volts, 55 watts, now it makes sense. The one with the most power is going to use the most current. It's like what we think. 